Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ali, but you can call me here. So welcome back to my YouTube channel, Coding With Day. So in the last video, I integrated Google Sign In and React Native app using Firebase. But in this video, I'm going to implement uh, Facebook login and React Native app using Firebase. So let's don't waste time. Let's still jump into the code. Let me share my screen. Done me. So this is the uh, official documentation of React Native Firebase uh, Facebook Sign In. So the first first step is to go to the community supported package for facebook login so install this library we are going to implement this library react native firebase next sdk go to the app yawn add click enter it will install the library in our project done after that go to your uh firebase project and add a new provider the new provider will be facebook enable it we need an app ID and app secret from uh, Facebook, Facebook developers. So go to the Facebook developers, Facebook developers. Yeah, uh, this is facebookdevelopers.com. So uh, create a new app. So let's, uh, we are using authentication, scroll down, click next. No, I'm not building a game, click next. Add app name, app name, React Native, uh, auth, uh, app. We are just uh, enter any name. We are just practicing. So create create an account, create an app. It will take a few seconds to create an app. Done. So our app is created now. So after that, we need an app uh, app ID and app secret. Go click on basics. Uh, this is our app ID. Click here, copy paste here, and we need a uh, app secret. Show click. Copy paste the app secret. After that, we need to uh, uh, put the uh, auth redirect URI in app. So let's go and uh, click on dashboard. Click uh, customize uh, adding a Facebook login. Go to settings first. Go to settings first, and uh, we need to uh, valid auth redirect URI. Uh, paste the uh, link here. Yeah, save the file, save the changes. Save the changes. Uh, it will redirect to like this page. Uh, go back to our Facebook app. I click here. Now uh, go to quick, quick start. Uh, click on go to quick start. Now, first we have to uh, uh, go with the iOS. Let's go with the iOS first. Uh, still, we are using Cocoa Force, so we installed Cocoa Force already in our uh, in our tab machine. So let's copy this port PSTK login kit to port file. This is our port file. Copy paste this line of ports. After that, scroll down and copy paste port install. Install the ports CD iOS and install the ports port install. It will install the port uh, uh, linked with this. A PST library. That's it. Click on next. What's the next step? We need a bundle ID. For bundle ID, go to the authentication. Save this one. Uh, go to project setting. Yeah, uh, this is our bundle ID. We can also get the bundle ID from uh, X code, uh, general tab, uh, bundle, uh, scroll down, and there, there you will get your bundle ID. Save the bundle ID. Click continue. Go next. So copy this code, copy this piece of code and go uh, paste it in info.plist file. Go to info.plist file inside our app. Yeah, so here, paste the code. So in this code, uh, we need to, we already have uh, this thingy. So cut this piece of code and insert this. We need to create a new string. And in this string, we have to put app ID, Facebook app ID. So what's our Facebook app ID? Click here. Uh, go to authentication, sign in matter, Facebook. This is our app ID. Copy the app ID and uh, go to Visual Studio Code and write app and paste the app ID. After that, paste the app ID here, then copy the app secret and paste the app secret inside client token.
So rename the app name. So the app name is React Native Auth App. Don't give any space. Uh, don't give any space between a display name. So it will give any error. Uh, in any case, it will give an error. So after that, save this one. Yeah, we don't need one. So after that, click on the next one. What's the next step? This step is done. So what's the next step? Click next. Done. And done with this tab, click next, click next, click next, yeah. Done. So all the steps are done now. So let's go and jump into the Firebase SDK. We need to add one more step because we, we will get an error. Uh, step two, three, and four is done now. So we, we move forward and uh, go to app delegator mm5. In our project, uh, this is our app delegator mm file and paste the a piece of code here, copy the code, paste inside this function, done. So after that, uh, we don't need this app, we don't need this at the moment because we are we already configured it, we don't need this app, done. So all the steps are done now. So let's go back and run, and let's go back and clear the terminal. And now we have to write, we will write a call for a uh, Facebook login. For Facebook login, we already imported, I already imported a uh, login manager access token to from React Native FPS to get next library. After that, go to the React Native Firebase guidelines and copy the function and paste below the Google function. Done. So after that, we are not returning anything, we're just printing the console that user login successfully. Done. So we are using cry catch log, cry, cry, catch for error, any type of error handling. Yeah, console dot log error. So what's what this step is doing is is this step is just a login with permission. We're taking permission for Firebase public profile. It will fetch the public profile and email from uh Facebook, and after that uh, it will uh, get like uh, access token from Facebook, and uh you use this access token for uh, for authentication with Firebase. That's it. That's this code is doing. So after that, let's let's jump into the Facebook developer console. Yeah, so inside Android, I think we are, we are using iOS build at the moment, so we don't need, we will move forward and Android build later. Go back. So email testing, add an email testing. Yeah, we, yeah, this, this step is important, man. Add an email testing, otherwise our, our app will, app will not work. Because we are fetching email also in our app and login permission. That's why we need email email uh, enabled here, ready for testing. So after that, uh, let's create a button. Copy this button. Paste below this one. Uh, sign with Facebook. Done. On Facebook button pressed. It will call that function on Facebook button press. After that, run the app on on a simulator on ios it will build the app yeah it, it will take some a few seconds to build the app yeah it's showing it's showing it's showing already me it will take a few seconds i i i will skip this video man i will skip this video i will skip this step so it will it, it, it takes some time to build an app that's why. Da, 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 da. That's simple, man. Facebook login is simple with Firebase. Firebase is make our make our life more easier. It is built now, so just click on uh, sign in with Facebook button, man. It will, yeah, click on continue. So it will log in our app, continue SSLE. Done. So our app. Uh, we successfully log in is, yeah, we successfully log in. You see, user sign in successfully. Yeah, we are successfully logging with Facebook. 
and let's refresh the server boom you will see my email and my is that in the user section so i am successfully logging with facebook on ios so let's go and let's do with uh, let's set up android part let's delete this account from here so let's set up the android step now so for android uh we have to go back and uh, go to the uh facebook app facebook app apps click on apps and uh, now go back into the app go back to the app customize facebook login button so uh, go to quick start and then uh, click on android click next uh click next uh, yeah, so we need a, a package name and a default activity class name. For package name, we have to go to Android folder, app, source, main, inside Java, main activity. Okay, this is our package name, com dot rn auth name. Copy paste here. So after that, uh, copy paste the package name dot main activity. So this is our main activity class name, com dot reactive auth app dot main activity. Click save. It will take a few seconds. You're done. So click on continue then. So after that, uh, you have to uh, generate a key hashes. Uh, for for key hashes, uh, I am on Mac. So is, uh, if you are on Windows, you just have to copy this code, uh, piece of code and paste in the terminal. So I am on Mac OS. I'm just copying this piece of code and going on terminal, paste here, click enter. It will uh it will generate a uh, key hash for me. So this is my key hash. So I am copying this key hash and pasting here, and then saving the key hash. Then click continue. Uh, we don't need to do anything with this stuff. Click continue. And then we have to copy this piece of code and go on this path. App pressing to XML file. Uh, go to apps src folder main. Insert res, insert value, string to XML, paste the code here and edit this piece of code. We need app ID, client token, and FP login operable scheme. For app ID and client token, just go there. We already get the app ID and app secret. Just click here. This is our app ID. Copy this, paste here. Then after that, uh, paste here, uh, FP. Yeah, paste here, done. So after that, uh, we will copy the client token and paste the client token here. That's, that's done, man. That's simple. Cancel here. Uh, so after that, uh, go to the, what's the next step? So we need to add metadata inside our uh, Android manifest.xml file. So let's go on Android manifest.xml file. Uh, paste here, metadata. Uh, copy that. Copy this piece of code. Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. That's done, man. Yeah, after that, what's the next step? So the next step is to copy this piece of code and put inside the put inside the uh, Android manifest or XML file below metadata. Just paste here. Done made. That's it. That's it. That's it. Simple, simple, easy and simple. Man, click next. Uh, we don't need to anything to do anything. Well, no, we don't need to do anything here. We don't need to do anything here. Click next, click next, click next back. So that's done, man. So this, uh, these are the steps we have to configure on an Android part. Now restaurant and run Android to build our Android apps. So after that, we will test our app. Yeah, our app is built now. So let's uh, click on sign in Facebook. Yeah, it will re it will redirect me to Facebook.com. So continue as is only. Continue as early. Done. Click here. Boom. You will see I am successfully logged in with Facebook in Android app. So that's in made that simple step of Facebook login with Firebase. That's so easy in React Native apps. So if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and uh, share this content with others.